Hi, everybody. Welcome back, to Prison Architect. Welcome back to um, this Women's Female Correctional Institute of Upper New York State in in New York, New York. Um, just not even anywhere close to the Big Apple. Anyway, we're back. Um, we are back, and we are currently getting close to unlocking uh, finance and hiring an accountant, which will give us another uh, big chunk of money. And uh, we need to start thinking about prison maintenance. We're going to have to have uh, some groundskeeping. Uh, we can maybe make like a separate building for all that stuff. You know what I, you know what I mean? Like we can make it like. I mean, we've planned this stuff here, but, like, this stuff does not necessarily need to be here. I mean, we could take all this stuff out, okay? Well, I mean, it's eventually we're gonna need something surrounding the whole thing, but, like, for Minsec, I think this is fine. I think, like, what we could look at doing is we're gonna need to somehow connect up the rest of the prison. And we could do this, like, from the side, possibly. Like, we could have, like, um, we could sort of surround all this with, like... A system of oh, you know what this could work okay, like hear me out okay we're gonna have like we're gonna surround all this with like look at check this out okay one two that's not quite three it's gonna have to be like here okay surround all this with like a three y three one two three so that it's like a hallway right it's gonna be a hallway that goes all the way around uh, and then and it can connect up all these other wings and stuff you see what I'm see where see where I'm getting at and we could have like a central sort of building for our groundskeeping and and janitors and stuff like that because I don't think it really matters like we're gonna have some prisoners working in the janitor office right and I think like it needs to be a big enough place I think we need like a like almost like a like a central sort of like services area for like laundry, like the shop, like all that kind of stuff. And, and it could be like a neutral area where everybody is allowed to go to and work. Um, uh, and then once they've gone to work, then they go off to their respected areas uh, of security or whatever. So the thing is, that area will need to be heavily guarded by like dogs and stuff because obviously like, you know, the, everybody's going to try to kill each other when they get to that part. But like, I, I think this could work. I think this could work, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect all this stuff up here somehow. Uh, I haven't quite figured out how yet, but looking at it right now, I think that we can probably have like this, like all inside that is like a hallway or maybe even outside. Maybe it could just be like a fence out here that connects all this stuff up. And then there'll be a way for the guards and stuff to get into like into the, into Minsec and open the, like the gates up for the, Employees to get into, well, I say employees, they're not, technically they're not employees, okay? They are prisoners, but um, they need to be let in and out so that they get to, like, this, like, central area. And, like, it'll be, like, a, it'll be quite big. Like, let's say it's going to be about, like, uh, like, yay big, okay? And then from here, okay, we can have, like, a, a big door here, a big door here, uh... Maybe we should line up the doors. <laughs> okay, we'll have like a big door here. That's like kind of central, right? Or is it like one more down? Is that more central? I think that that's probably central enough anyway. Um, and then that one. Okay, perfect. So like this will be like the central area. So we'll have like janitor closets, the laundry room, a bunch of other central shit here. And then this will lead off into like the other wings, right? So we'll have like a wing that goes that way, a wing that comes like this way, and then we'll have another wing that goes here. And they, these can be the different wings. Like one can be lead off to like death row eventually, and maybe max sec or something, and like some other crap. You know what I mean? Yeah, do, you, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? No? All right, well fine, just ignore me anyway. Okay, we're gonna add our accountant, and that's another grant down. Okay, and we've done some cool planning here, and already I'm like feeling pretty good about this script. Perfect. Okay, so another way to get into the prison will be uh, from out here. And you know what? I think it will just be fence for now. And then we can always upgrade it later. Okay, so let's go for some fence. We're going to add some fence like all up to here. And then we're going to have some fence all the way down here too. I mean, we're thinking big already with 50 grand in the bank. That's, uh, that's, 
that's quite alarming, isn't it? We have to probably plan this out a bit as well. Okay, so, I mean, we can even have, like, all of our, like, stupid shrinks and stuff in here as well. Like, it could work out pretty good. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So this will need to be an office, okay? One, two, three, four. This will be the office for, like, the chief groundskeeper, okay? Um, and then next to his office... Wait a second. Before we do this, though, let us just check the grants. We'll go to the grants and see what's next so that we can plan around it as well. Um, security procedure certification. Um, sure, we could do cell block A. That's a big one. The advance payment's huge. Um, we need to just raise our co prisoner capacity to 15. This is just basically free money, right? Because, like, we already have prisoner capacity 8. We just need to put more bunks in and we're good, right? Right, okay. Cell block A it is then. Okay, cell block A will be our minsec. This will be nice. Okay, so for groundskeeping, we need uh, a gardener. We're going to have, like, a utility cupboard here as well for all of the janitors and stuff to work in. It'll be quite a big one because it's going to hopefully cover most of the prison. That'll be pretty nice. Um, and then across the way here, one, two, three, four. We can have, like, uh, the medical center. We can have, like, uh, the psychiatrist and stuff in here as well. Like, this will all be good stuff, I think. Okay, so let's do this. That's fine. Perfect. So that'll be the janitor closet. That can be the, like, a uh, medical. And there's there's even more room for it to come out here as well. Like, we're saying that these are offices here, but actually, this stuff could come out as far as here. Like, and I don't see why it couldn't, actually. Let's just do that. Look, it's raining, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Um, let's, let's just make these rooms big. We might as well. So the more people that we can cram in here, the better, right? Um, and then we have, like, this dead space here, which is awkward, but there you go. I mean, it's gonna happen from time to time. Look at these poor ladies are just standing outside in the rain. It's yard time. You have to do it, ladies. I'm sorry. Okay, inside here for free time as well. Let us get some phones. We're gonna have some phone booths in the kitchen here. In and around the kitchen. And what did we do in SummerSlam? Remember we had toilets in the canteen? Remember how fucking useful that was? That was crazy. It was so good. Okay. Objects then? I mean, this is going to be a pretty big intake if we do this right now. But you know what? It's probably worth it. Okay. So we'll get like some more bunks. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the drains in. Unbelievable. Is it enough to just put a drain like that? Will that stop it? I hope so. Let's see. That could be nice, actually. Instead of having drains all over the floor, just like one drain in the middle. I think this will do it. I think that this will be cell block A covered. And that's just like 20 grand in the, in the bank for us. That is nuts. Man, I like 20 grand. A lot, actually, it turns out. That's uh, probably my favorite rounded number. Okay, so this needs to be... Um, a, does it need to be a door here? Yes, okay, it probably does for outside access, but we'll we'll heavily monitor this whole area so that nobody look at that Fucking cell block a complete man talk about forward planning. Holy shit. Look at this. Ah, oh, this is perfect I mean all we're doing is servicing two prisoners, but there's a whole bunch more t turning up in 12 hours There's like what eight people fuck me. That's crazy. Okay, so, um, we need to unlock maintenance through bureaucracy next. That's our next thing. Maintenance. It's gonna cost us 500 bucks. It's worth every penny. Um, and then in here, so we said this is going to be, in here is going to be a janitor closet. So let's make sure that we got this right. So we're gonna say, oh, and then solitary cells as well could be a good one. We could have, like, all of our solitary mixed and central to here. Oh, shit, that would be really good, actually. Man, now we're talking. Okay, so objects then. We're going to want to have a small jail door here for the yard. This is how Minsec are going to get in and out of their block, right? They're going to get back into here through this door. And we're going to make it so that they can't really go down here. We'll make these, like, staff areas only. But they'll be able to transport the prisoners, like, through here. Thanks to some fence. And maybe, like, some doors. Okay, that should be fine, actually. Um, so let's do that. Then we need... We want to be able to get through here with our dudes, but we don't want prisoners coming through here. We want this to be all closed off to them. Just in case. Because that's close. They could really, like, get out here and escape. And that would be a fucking disaster, actually. Okay, perfect. 
That's fine. Um, okay, so are we saying that we definitely want solitary? Because we could totally do solitary up here, right? Planning. Let's do this. Let's see how this works out. So in solitary, we want, like, just a room, the door, and probably a bed. Do we want toilet in there as well? I mean, maybe we could have, like, a toilet and a bed in solitary. I think we probably do need a toilet and a bed, just in case. Because the way I'm planning on running this... It's gonna get like, it's gonna get pretty intense pretty quick, I think. Okay, good. Let's do that then. Okay, so this will be, this will be solitary in here. We don't need that many solitary cells to begin with, but once we build another cell block, we might. Um, but that's fine. Okay, so that's gonna be solitary, and then in here, once people start working, this could be easily a gigantic laundry room okay and that'll be like central services more or less and then we need to find a place to put like classrooms and stuff like that but for now it's probably fine how much is this going to cost us to make central services this big building of that we want to call central 10 grand and it's worth every penny though right okay we're gonna do it nice okay we've done it i'm gonna get the old large jail door here there's going to be quite a bit of traffic going through here. So we're going to have to be ready for said traffic. Um, let us make sure that auto lights are off. They are off. Perfect. And then we're going to have to run some power and shit over to here as well. But that's fine because we've got everything that we need. Look at these guys. Going the long way around. All the way around with their boxes at night in the pouring rain. All for the purpose of building central services. That's right. That's what we built here. Central services. I mean, really it could do with expanding at some point because there's a couple of other things I can think of that would be good to have in central services. Um, such as maybe like shared visitation for like um, everybody except for like Death Row and Max Sec. Max Sec we really want to keep separated from everybody as much as possible. Uh, Min Sec and Medium Sec. We don't really want the mingling too much, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to need some separation as well for snitches and stuff. Because otherwise, the body count is going to rise. As we saw in SummerSlam. Man. Boy, did snitches get stitches. In that place. And mainly at the hands of Ainsley Soresby as well. That's another thing we need to be careful of. Let's try not to have another situation whereby we have a Soresby. Like, uh, Soresby's wife or something. Fuck me. How terrible would that be? That's the last thing that we need. Alright, central services is, like, almost up and ready to go here. Um, I mean, we could just make this, like, another big jail door to, 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 to tart it up a little bit. But you know what? For now, it's probably fine. Okay, so in here is gonna be where the number one chief maintenance man is going to live and of course in here we said that we're going to have medical facilities and we're also going to have our psychologist in there as well and then in here is going to be the laundry room and this is going to be some shared solitary confinement for people who have been extra extra bad really really bad bad boys no windows nothing okay but we will probably put some windows in the dorm because I think that that'll be a nice thing for them to have. We're going to need some metal detectors before long as well. Uh, large windows? Probably not. I think just a small window will be fine. We're going to put them, like, over each each bunk. So that people can have, like, a little bit of sunlight coming into the dormitory every day. Like, I think that that's a basic human right. And one that we should definitely strive to uphold inside the Female Women's Correctional Institute of Upper State New York non-privatized but you never know it could be privatized no wait we are privatized aren't we because i'm running the show here i'm bankrolling the whole thing i'm managing it i'm i wrote the theme tune i'm gonna sing the theme tune as well and everything like i it's this is all me so we are privatized so i i need to really sort of get it get on top of that stop saying that we're not privatized because we totally are because the government is not going to help us with any of this are they fucking guys okay uh we need an office here this needs to be an office this is where we want our dude our number one man with the plan um he's gonna have a nice desk here with a chair 
He's going to also have a filing cabinet filled with rotas for the janitors. This is going to be real nice. Uh, rooms, we would like this to be a, um, parole? No, oh, parole. That's another good one as well, actually. Family cell, so, uh, uh, we don't have stuff. Nursery! Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot we need to have a nursery. For Christ's sake, okay. Are we done researching maintenance? No, we still have, like, a half hour left of research to do before that comes online. Okay, perfect. Well, that's fine, then. We can... We can totally let that one just like... Okay, let's get the power in here so that we can get some lights. Probably also going to need to run the large pipe into here as well so that we can get unplumbing inside. That'll be good. And uh, we, we, we also want some lights. He's going to need a light in his office. This guy's going to need a light in his office as well. We're going to need some lights in here, likely. Uh, we're going to put them like here and here. And then like... Here and here. It's gonna be a big janitor closet. Holy crap. Okay, and then we're gonna need lights in here as well But actually we're gonna put them like here here and here Perfect, and then we're probably gonna need some lights in these cells, but we can do the the copy paste uh, thingamajig for that Okay jail door. Yep. We need a jail door here This is a normal door um, This is going to be a staff door because it's the hospital this is going to be a staff door as well. And then these are going to be also staff doors. Wait, are they? I suppose these can just be normal doors. Let's just hope that people don't break into this office and kill everybody. Uh, that That's the worst case scenario, I would say. How are our inmates doing? Is everybody happy? London Hornick, at the age of 47. Wow. Two counts of perjury. Wow, Jesus. She's served already 4.8 years of her 8 years. Jesus, look at this. Fraud and bribery as well. Man, MinSec is where it all kicks off. This is where, like, all your white-collar criminals end up. You know, they stole one too many staples from the fucking, uh, you know, stationery cupboard and stuff. Like, that's pretty much how it... Do we need another guard? I think one more. Yeah. We just need a guy in here to open doors and stuff. This one's doing some good jobs patrolling here. That's really nice. But we need something a bit better. We're going to need a main reception for the whole prison at some point as well. Because this is just not very good. It's actually... In actual fact, it's just a ton of dead space, isn't it? It's probably like the worst thing I've ever done. But, you know, there's still time to correct it. It'll be fine. I feel like so far, so good with all this. We're doing okay. Okay, we're gonna have to extend our electrical capacity into here and also into here as well. We're gonna want this bitch to come up here, probably like go into here too. And we're gonna need some electrical to come up here and hopefully we don't have to, you know what? We're gonna spend the extra money just to make sure that each cell gets a little bit of power. Cause otherwise people are gonna think that we're like crazy tyrants who like uh, don't give people stuff that they need. You know what? This can be forced open, actually. We can just lock it open for now. There's no need. It, there's no need for that to not be open right now. That one's fine. And the other ones... Yeah, I mean, this one can also be locked open once it's actually done. Uh, but for now, we should be good. Okay, perfect. How much longer until eight, eight new people turn up? Three hours. Wow. I mean, it's quite the intake, eight prisoners, but, I mean, so far so good, like, we're doing okay. Uh, and we've got grand plans, and it just turns out that we have a lot of money for these grand plans as well. And why is this, why the speed gone down to, like, the lowest for some reason? I don't remember setting it to that. Every once in a while, though, it is good to pause, right? Like, it's a nice thing to just pause, catch your breath a little bit. Get your bearings and make sure that the stuff that you're building actually makes sense. Because, man, sometimes, like, with this game, you can get really carried away and you can zone out a little bit as well. And it's a fair warning. Like, don't play it for too long in one go. Because sometimes you'll zone out and then you'll build something and you'll be like, What? What was I building again? What? What's this for? I can't even remember. Because, like, there's so much happening all the time. You know, like, for instance... Right now, I've got like eight prisoners arriving. That's stressing me out big time. 
Uh, I need to hire on our new our new hire now that maintenance been unlocked. We need a foreman. And it's not George Foreman either. This is the foreman, okay? Like he's he's going to be He's gonna be doing a bunch of shit here. Really important shit. Yeah, George Foreman didn't really do anything actually important, okay? Not like this guy's gonna do. Where the fuck is... Where the... Oh, we, oh, we have to fucking research it, don't we? We need to research cleaning. Okay, janitors. We're gonna spend two grand researching. Look, he's got to do this all of his research in the dark. His office isn't even fully kitted out yet. He doesn't have, like, all the shit that he needs. He does not have an internet-ready computer, for instance. He's got all these, like, weird spools of wire and stuff. He doesn't even have electricity in there right now. He's just in the dark doing his best to research cleaning. Even though cleaning has existed in one shape or form since, like, the dawning of time, this foreman is so diligent and so ahead of his time and he's just so thorough that he is just going to re-research the art of cleaning just for us here in this place. I mean, that's... Th we should be able to give him some sort of pay rise or whatever straight away. But at the same time, I don't think we can really afford it. And, you know, it's going to be tax time soon and stuff. And there's a bunch of other things that we need to spend money on for the prisoners and stuff. So I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but you've asked me at the wrong time for a pay rise. And it's impossible for us to give you one at this moment in time. But come back next year and ask for one. Look, you've got lights now. What else do you need? Man, we're in the hole a little bit of money. Like, not much. Just a little teensy weensy tiny bit. But it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Once we research janitors and stuff, we should be good. All right. We got a big intake coming in in about five minutes time. Let's get these girls in. Let's get them clear. Let's get them comfortable in the dormitory. And then... Wow, okay. There's like six more coming in 24 hours. We just made 2,400 bucks off intake. There should only be eight of them turning up. But I'm thinking that maybe more than eight might turn up. Okay, here comes the bus. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one has child. Okay, Alina Naubati is with child. Trish? No child. Teresa Redwing Morris? No child. Lila Griffin? No child. Alice Headland? Alyssa Mitchell, Piper Darley, <laughs> Alexandra Clark. All right, cool. Wow, this person is only in for one year. Jeez. You know how much money we're going to make from processing her, like, into here straight away? Holy crap, can we please... Can we please get these women processed before they start escaping? Like, why they... They're just standing outside in the, in the hot, hot sun. They need to be processed. Look, we don't have enough guards to process all these dudes. Like, especially when they're going this slow. Please. Please, guard. Get out there quickly and process someone. For the love of Christ. The longer they're out there. We don't have anywhere for Alina now Badi to, to be with her baby. We're going to have to... I think the first thing that we're going to have to spend money on after central services is um, a, like a nursery area. Nursery areas are kind of different. The cells are much bigger. We need to have, like, a place for the kids to play in the canteen while, like, the mom eats and stuff like that. It's crazy. Like, there's a lot of shit that we have to take into account. Now, Batty, is there any way that we can just reform you on the spot? Maybe just have, like, a quiet chat with you outside and send you on your way or something? Are you cool with that? Like, how long is she going to be here for? Two years. She's here for video game piracy, for Christ's sake. Unbelievable. Okay. She pirated a video game had a child as well and now we have nowhere to put her unbelievable we might have to set up something temporary for her all right well it looks like everybody's in except for now baddy who we're gonna have to make provisions for separately but things are really starting to heat up inside of our female women's upper state new york correctional facility privatized um we have a lot of mouths to feed all of a sudden and we are working our way through some of these grants. We can have another grant, actually. Maybe visitation and stuff after. But there's always something to do in this game. And it's stressful as hell, it turns out. Alright, well, there you go. 
another episode of Prison Architect. Join me next time where we continue to find a place for now Batty and Child to live and do other stuff. Great. As usual, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time! <laughs>